Hi, my name is Danielle with River City Events and today I'm going to show you how to use our hot dog machine. Here we have our low water indicator light, our power switch, our temperature gauge and our water valve. To start we are going to remove the doors, remove the hot dog dividers and then we're going to fill the basin with up to 7 liters of warm water. We recommend that you use distilled water, and the warmer the water, the quicker your dog's hot dogs will warm up. Once you have all the water filled up, you're going to go ahead and turn it on. Then you're going to turn the temperature gauge all the way up to high. You're going to put the hot dog divider trays back in. And then you're going to put the doors back on. Once turned on, the machine should start to produce steam. Next, you're ready to add your hot dogs in a single layer. One in the back, one in the front. You may choose to use this divider to distinguish between hot dogs and other variety of meats such as sausages and smokies. From a cold start, it should take approximately 30 to 45 minutes to reach an internal temperature of 140 degrees Fahrenheit. You can place up to 45 hot dogs to start. Be sure to place them loosely to allow the steam to circulate between them. If cooking multiple batches of hot dogs, the water may get greasy and need to be changed frequently. Turn the valve to empty the water tray and add more water to the water tray as needed. Once hot dogs have reached a serving temperature, turn the thermostat down to between 160 to 170 degrees Fahrenheit to keep them warm. To warm up the buns, place them in the compartments as needed. Leaving the buns in for too long will result in either soggy buns or overcooked buns. If the low water indicator light comes on, add up to three more liters of water to restart the heating element. There will be condensation, drops of water, and possible pooling of water in, on, and around the dog hut, as well as the surface on which it is placed. Please use caution. Use tongs to remove the buns and hot dogs from steamer, as contents will be hot. And now you're ready to eat. To clean the machine, turn it off and ensure it is unplugged. One final time, turn the valve to empty the water tray of any water. Once the machine has cooled down, remove the bun tray, the hot dog trays, and the doors, and clean with the mild soap and water. Clean the base of unit with damp cloth and dry. Use care to avoid damaging the float switch. The stainless steel body of the steamer is easy to keep clean. Usually a damp cloth will remove all dirt and grease spots. Never use abrasives on the stainless steel body or the vinyl labels. Clean gently with a mild soap and water. And that's it! Thanks for watching our video. We hope you're having a great event. Have a beautiful day.